Hello and welcome back. Last time on Super Mario Bros. Wonder, we finally finished up Fungi Mines. And today we can continue our trek towards the final world of the game. But we've got some business to do here in the Petal Isles first. Let's see what this guy has to say. Whoa! That guy is so messing up there, you can't let him get the best of you, Prince. I just can't catch any fish at all, but I did reel in this bottle with this curious message inside. Look to the distant sky to find a special world. Huh, what do you suppose that's all about? Something that we'll see in, like, I don't know, five parts from now? Anyway, we're going to start off with Ma Ma Mouthful. After how much we've been playing, what we've been doing so far, a two-star difficulty shouldn't be that bad. Oh god. So yeah, these are Maw Maws. Um, weird axolotl-looking things that can just eat whatever, including Goombas. So we're going to have to try to stay out of that mouth and, and avoid that. You know, we can at least, you know, take them out that way easy enough. But um, we'll have to be careful to avoid getting, getting gobbled up. So let's see. So for starters, oh, he can bounce his head on these... Uh, things there. That's one way, and now he actually can't get to us. But you'll notice, he's actually just straight up immune to bubbles. And he ate those coins. So we have no way to get those coins. So that's a thing to worry about. And then also, he can spit out shells at us, so... Kind of a fearsome enemy, you can only really jump on him, and even then you take two jumps to actually take him out, which makes them a lot stronger than most Mario enemies when you think about it. Let's see what we can do here. Another fine thing to eat. We're going to try and hop on this guy while he's tall, so we actually get up there. There we go. So that's our first big coin. We'll do what the flower says for now. Try to avoid getting gobbled up for real. Kind of an odd little area right there, but sure. Yeah, there's a little zip cord to worry about. I guess we can take care of that in a second. Yeah, he'll, he'll run right off the edge just to get us, huh? That's a little concerning. We can also do a ground pound to take them out in one go. So that's also important to notice. Oh, I'm surprised I actually didn't get hit by those spikes. So let's see what this ripcord has in store for us. Alrighty. And here he is. It's Goomba Luigi. So we can't really do much. We can do what a Goomba can do, which is a very pathetic jump, and we can walk along spikes, so I guess that's cool. But now we gotta play a little bit of a stealth mission. And avoid getting eaten up by these guys. Thankfully, they're insatiable, and they'll go for other people first. But we got to be careful how we want to do this. we got another 10 coin there. We're actually going to go this way to get it. Rare footage of a Goomba actually killing an enemy. That's actually, you know, surprising. If Goombas could jump, it sounds like they're about as strong as Mario. Oh, God. So, we're going to play it safe with this guy. Hey, buddy, come over here. Somehow he couldn't see me through all that. And as much as I hate waiting, we will sit here until that comes back. I find my, my own impatience can be my own downfall, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep it uh, safe here. Even if it means we have to take a little longer to do this than I would like. Okay, we can actually just draw both of them out. That's actually pretty good. We're going to have to follow this to get where we want to go, and then have to hop off. Why are you so obsessed with eating me? Maybe you are the true villain. And there's the Wonder Seed. So that's fun. But, uh... We don't want to move forward yet. There's actually a little something we can get up here. That we couldn't reach as the Goomba. And sure enough, that's our final uh, big coin. So we can start off shooting it at the uh, Maw Maw. He can eat it for us. There we go. Thanks for that. 
and we'll just kind of crawl right through here. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we can move forward. Let's, let's see what else we can do over here. Not much, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure that Goomba is fine. That's that strangely handsome Goomba that should have had a mustache but didn't. It's kind of strange. Now we're going to jump on these guys just to get our gold flag. That wasn't so bad. All things considered, that was a fun little transformation special. You know, maybe maybe now Mario and company will be a little more understanding of Goombas now that we've walked a mile in their shoes. Now with that, we can finally cross over to some more islands here. We're surprisingly close to Bowser, but we can't quite get to him yet. So we'll have to wait. So here we go. Badge challenge, boosting spin jump one. This is probably the best badge in the game for just raw platforming, I feel like. While well, midair, press R or shape the controller to gain a little extra altitude. It's a double jump. Which, in a Mario game that is traditionally not has a double jump, that's actually a pretty big deal. You gotta be really careful with the movement here. Let's, let's try and get a running start. There we go. So I think this might be based off of, like, Daisy's jump in Super Mario Run. I guess she has a double jump there. I've never played it, so I wouldn't know, but... You know, most of these are taken from other things. Then again, no one else has ever had a Vine grappling hook before, so what do I know? Be careful how we time this. There we go. That's two of three. And then we'll just kind of follow where the coins lead us here for the final one. Last jump, as he says, so we're just going to jump, spin, there we go, spin to win. So this is a really, really good badge, um, and once I got it, I pretty much just used it for the rest of the game. And I actually, I went out of order, and I did some of these worlds differently than I... I'm doing it here. So that, that kind of overrode a lot of other badges that I had. So it's probably for the best that we waited. Because, uh, yeah, this is really good. And we're going to keep this, too, for just, just a little bit, just to show off how nice it can be. The, the grapple is nice, but it's a little more situational. Moving on. Muncher Fields. So, you might recognize that enemy name. Possibly. This is an interesting level. Um, a very different experience if you... <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. A very different experience if you play as uh, Nabbit or Yoshi, because you can just kind of ignore what you're supposed to do, but, you know, we're Luigi, so we won't be doing that. So the, these are these are the, uh, the munchers. Well-known, kind of lesser-used enemy, I feel like. You usually just have spikes. We can go down here. We actually can't kill them with, with just jumping on them like that, but we can at least get some coins for our trouble. Now what we want to do, while they have some color commentary, here, let's let's get that so we can have the bubble in reserve. What we're going to want to do, move around a little bit here. Now I could just do the double jump and get that 10 coin, but what they actually kind of want you to do, we're going to go over here first. Grab this pile block and come on back over here. And then that brings these up and lets us get it. For whatever reason, a lot of the pipes in this level can't support our weight and start to go down. So that's kind of a neat way to do it. But thankfully this spawns like an endless amount of pile blocks, so it's not like we wasted anything. And then we can hit this guy here. And that'll bring that pipe down for us. We could go this way. But we are going to miss out on stuff if we do, so we're going to go back through the red pipe over here. It's kind of cool how Bowser is just hanging out in the background there. So we're going to have to move quick here. Use this star and just go across all of these guys. Grab another star. Get this one and head out on the way back. One last star. Look at what we have to do to mimic a fraction of Yoshi and Nabbit's power. There we go. 
and it just in time. And if we went back through here, which we could, I guess, this is just where that other path kind of left us, but those pipes go down on the left there, and we can't go back up, so just, just figured I'd show that off. So let's head back where we were. Back to the foreground. Yeah, let's take care of this guy while we can. And then from there... And hey, look, these are... I think these are called nippers? I believe? From, from Yoshi? Yoshi's Island? Um, pretty under-seen enemy, I feel like. Uh-oh. He's gone mad with power. We're going to take him down. So we're going to want to ground pound this one and go grab the star as it comes over here. Time that correctly. And sorry, but you can't be trusted with that power, so we're going to take it instead. But now we have some really creepy moving platforms that will go more or less kind of wherever we're facing like, relative to them. So, kind of kind of weird, admittedly. Gotta be careful as we move here. There's even some moving in the background, too, it looks like. Hmm. What's that all about? Is that just some... That seems weird. Okay. I thought that was actually for something. I guess not. Unless I missed something. It's possible. It's always possible. Kind of keep moving. Watch these guys. See if we can grab this. Uh-oh. And now we're in the background of the stage. So we'll keep moving with this guy. Whoops, I didn't want to take away my, my bubble. Oh, no. I'll live, I guess. So we're going to want to... Also grab uh, this pow block if we can to open that up, which gives us a way forward to get our wonder seed. So that's neat. And then we could use this to take these out too, I suppose. There's not really a reason to, but we can. And then we can also use the double jump to get this, just a little extra purple coin. But we'll keep moving. So, if we had not done the Wonder segment, we would come out the red pipe. But you'll notice, we haven't gotten the last coin yet. And it's actually one, I think, of the better hidden ones. So if you pop back over here, you can kind of see on the bottom of the screen there a little suspicious kind of hole where these munchers are. So, let's clear them out. And if we crawl all the way under here... What do you know? Our last coin. So yeah, one of the better hidden uh, secrets, I think, overall. And then we're going to be careful how we toss this to get rid of these guys. And then from there we can just, boom, get that goal real easy with the double jump. So that's a fun little e episode, or a little, little adventure for us. Yeah, Nabbit or uh, Yoshi, you can just walk over these guys, I'm pretty sure, with no issues whatsoever, <laughs> so... The level kind of loses a lot of its bite. But, you know, it's fine. So now we can move forward again. We've got a few more things we can do. So I think we're going to take a quick break here with the KO Arena. Pedal Metal. So, <clears throat> let's see what we can do. Okay, so here's the thought process. I want the bubble with elephant in reserve. So we'll switch those up now. And I think bubble will work pretty well in this part here as we take on these cheap cheeps. We can just kind of take them out with bubbles as we swim. And when the water level's lowering, so that'll actually help us out here in a second. That's two. Then this poor guy out to dry here. 
But now we gotta get it up, which is gonna be a bit of a problem unless we, you know, have a double jump. That's kinda nice. So 22 seconds, not the not the worst time I think you could have. We got these guys we gotta worry about taking care of. And uh, we can we can use bubbles, but uh, we're also gonna wanna use those POW blocks if we can too, so those can be really helpful. And then that pop block will get those. All right, 43 seconds. You know we're doing pretty consistent. And now this is where I want the elephant because we can not only just smack these guys with one go, but we also kill them with a single jump. So smack you for good measure. Bounce you here. Smack you there. I could have done that a lot faster, but. That, that's good enough. And I think we're solid enough for our reward here. 64 seconds. So a little over 20 seconds each time. Oh yeah. And there we go. That's all of them. Simple enough. Good job, Luigi. You're a hero. Wow, they took the picture there and not anywhere else, huh? Okay. So that's KO Arena. And last but not least here in the Petal Isles, we have another Wiggler race, Spelunking. So let's take that one on. And here's the Prince suggesting we put the Jet Run badge on. I'm going to take that suggestion because this is actually going to be a bit tough otherwise. So with Jet Run, if you'll recall, once we start moving, we never stop. So hopefully that's all we really need to kind of move forward here. Ooh. And you're going a little faster than I would have expected. Uh oh. That's fine. We don't we don't need it. That's that's not, not a problem at all. We can totally bring this back. Totally not flawless. Got some hoppy cats here we gotta watch out for. We can just run along these gaps. And then ball jump here. Got to do this again here in a second. Yeah, this guy's right on our tail here, so. Probably for the best that we, we wore this uh, particular badge. Just keep going. Everyone's cheering you on, Luigi. Everyone is. Don't let them tell you anything different. There we go. 52 seconds. Exactly. Actually, that's kind of fun. Alrighty. Take that, Piranha Plant. Or why would I call you a problem? Plant? You're a wiggler. Never mind. <laughs> My mind is elsewhere. I, I, I just won that race so easily. I just it, it was like they were a piranha plant. They couldn't go anywhere, you know. And with that, we have now made a full lap around the Petal Isles. We did it. We won the race. And Wiggler even celebrated our victory by giving us a wonder seed. Rivals turn friends. Racing is amazing. It sure is. So we have, we have now more or less done almost everything in the Petal Isles, actually. And we can actually access the special world from here, which we have not actually... You, you wouldn't, I guess you wouldn't think of it, but Petal Isles is a world, so that's now there for us. But we've done pretty much everything else here. Kind of surprising to think about how far we've come. But with all that said... You think, I, I don't think I have to... Oh wait, why did I go in here? Never mind. Okay, so what I, what I meant was, I, I think we bought everything at all the shops. Let me double check with this guy. But we've done pretty much everything in the Petal Isles, I think. So, at least for, for, for the moment. So we can, I put it off long enough here. We can finally actually enter the final area. So let's finally get this gateway opened here. and finally enter the Deep Magma Bog. Took us long enough. <laughs> Look at all this magma. This place is so fun. I bet Dad's getting bored of sitting around building up wonder power. Maybe I can make the magma go boom, kind of like fireworks. Then he wouldn't be so bored. 
Oh, Bowser strikes me as more of a parade person. So here we are. The, the, the lava world, as is customary. We made it to Deep Magma Bog. This underground bog goes much deeper than you'd think, and the magma spreads everywhere. There are poplins throughout the bog that study the conditions in this incredible place. Let's go to the nearest observatory and see if they know anything about the royal seed here. Okie doke. Let's do that. We literally don't have a choice. Deep Magma Bog Observatory number one. What do you got for us? Okay, we got bullet handle. I forgot we had jet run on. That might make this a bit interesting. Okay. Let's keep moving. Help. We need your help, Prince. Strange things have started to happen in Deep Magma Bog ever since someone attacked the palace here. The magma is getting hotter and hotter. The bog's ivy is feeding off the heat, growing out of control, getting scragglier and scragglier. We're in serious danger. That darn Bowser Jr. must be causing more trouble. I bet the royal seat is inside the palace with him. Please take back our palace, Prince, and save Deep Magma Bog. And here's a wonder seed, too. I hope it brings you luck. Well, all right. Okie doke. So, we can finally venture deeper into the deep magma bog here. Through all the ivy and bramble. And uh, I think that's actually where we're going to leave it today. I, I hate to, to cut it short here, but this is a big world. It, we, we can take our time through it. But we, we finally finished Petal Isles off. We got, like, the best badge in the game. In fact, I'm going to change that before I forget. So we're doing pretty good. I think, in all actuality. So, with that said, thanks for watching this uh, installment of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And next time, we will actually do more in the Deep Magma Bog and try to comb this place clean. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.